Hello and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. All that crazy stuff last time. My god, what's gonna happen? This is it. The very final chapter. Are you leaving today? Maybe. Zack, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. There's a calming beauty to it, and yet it exudes sadness. Harry. I have a few questions for you. About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stuart, is it? Ah, uh, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? The same reason as your father. Long, long ago, I too was unable to shoot my wife. What's worse is that I was also unable to kill myself. Which is why I lost both. The woman I loved, and my son. My wife suffered from a mental illness, but I still loved her. I wanted to save George, too, if I could. Everything was my fault. If only I had the courage to make the right decision. Emily and the other girls would not have died. But you have put an end to all of that. I wonder if they are happy. Zack, no need to worry about that. York will guide Emily and the other girls into the forest. And Harry, that makes you a massive dick. You left George in an abusive, like, parental relationship. You suck. Damn. Hmm? Hey, Michael. Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. It's good to see that Michael's still fucking weird. I mean, at least some things have stayed the same, right? I heard you're leaving. Oh, there's Willie. Glad to see you're alright. Uh-huh. That's right. The fuck is up with his hat? It's a shame about Emily. And the other girls, too. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. Jim, sort your hat out. It's going to escape. Seriously. It's not a fucking rocket ship, alright? Give it to him yourself. He's right next to you. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. 
See? She's over there. There's another Zack there, too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zack. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. The guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two. Be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Girls are boring. Jim, calm the hat. Calm it. Gotta love him. Just full of energy. Emily, York, sounds like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York, I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, please, let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well, then. I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. Ah, thank you, Michael. sad about like York and uh, Emily and the rest of them but you know I kind of feel okay with it since you know they seem to be okay at least as far as the game's telling us so that's kind of nice otherwise this the whole ending would have been absolutely brutal oh well that was weird I guess we can just kind of look around now what the hell is my car damn it left itself one of the stupid cop cars where the hell are we heading? Oh well. Oh yeah, all the controls for this? Mm-hmm. Mm. Nope. There we go. Oh god, the frame rate! Somebody help me! Alright. Well, I can't be too grumpy. At least the PlayStation version saved me. Well, I guess we're heading back to the hotel. That would be my guess here. Also, damn, this thing is loud. Hold on. Nope. There we go. I barely hear myself think. Well, what an exciting journey it's been. You're on. Can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, y'all. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. So I'm guessing that uh, York's still sticking around to help Zack. That would be my takeaway from this. Just in the same way that Zack was there to help York. In a way, you know. It's interesting, because you could see it as like a mind, the mind's defensive mechanism to like protect, protect, you know, Zack's personality retreated so York, the stronger personality, York, would come out and look after everything, you know. Alternatively, you could actually see it as uh, York being this entity that's come and basically kept, uh, saw, saw this child in, in danger and came to help him. Now, normally I'd sort of uh, chuck away such nonsense in a, in a more realistic setting, but since we had a fucking Super Saiyan and a crazy sort of blood monster, what do I know? I know nothing. So, you know, let's just roll with that. Oh my god, the frame rate. It is... Look at this! This is appalling! Now, I had the 360 version limitedly back in the day, which is the version I mainly played. You know, I said I played a little bit of this before. And it didn't run this bad. It did not. Oh no. But I'm not going to get distracted on... Uh, on how the versions are running. Because I really want to say, like, this game has really just been something special. Every so often, games come along that make you really sort of stop and think about how much you love the medium and how much you can tell a cool story. 
And I really think this game did that. It told a really, really interesting, fun story. And that's important. You know, you got to like all the characters, you got to, uh, you know, care for what happened to them. And that's not an easy thing to do. So while this game may be janky, it may be buggy, it may have to have made me swap versions. I've never done that in LP before, that's a first over 10 years. I had to swap versions over, but it'll stick with me for all the right reasons. One more thing, York. I hope things are going well with Emily. You've always been horrible with women. I gave you tons of advice during your last relationship, and you ignored all of them. I'm sure Emily will take the lead. Just don't fight her. Let her steer you in the right direction. Aww. They'll be good together. Assuming, you know, she can get over York's weirdness. Though I think some of that might have been Zach's influences there as well. Don't beat me, I'm the police. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm not in my car anymore. $62, man, my wages have gone up. Sweet. Yeah, I took the slow way. I wasn't using the siren. Mainly because I didn't want to have to listen to the obnoxious wee 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 noise the entire way through. Now, I'm not going to be doing any extra on this game. Now, that makes me a little bit sad, but there's a good reason. That's simply because the PC version is now pretty much unworkable. Uh, I might, I, I tried reinstalling it and keeping my saves, but didn't seem to suss this memory issue. So, hold on before I continue. Uh, so, there's a few side quests we did miss, and that does make me sad. But I feel we did lots of really good ones as well. I, so, while we're not going to be 100 percenting this, that does make me a little bit sad, because I really would have liked to have spent longer in Greenvale. We did got, to, we, you know, we got some good... We got some good cycles out there, I think. And I'm really happy we spent the time we did here. Like I said, it really makes me appreciate the medium. It really does. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. Zack, it's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? No, I'm not ready, but sadly, as the things stand, I'm ready. Then this is goodbye, oh. Zack. Thank you for everything. Good night, Zack. And sleep tight. Oh, this is sad. This game makes me sad. Damn. Polly, what's that picture? Oh, that. We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours, I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too.
the fuck? <laughs> the fuck was that with Willy's eyes with the case and doll? Oh, that's sinister. Okay, if it actually really was Willy all along, god damn it. It's like, it's just... Ugh. Oh, wow, nice shot. Interesting those trees in the top left there, like those white trees. What are those about? Did Emily die? No. She became the goddess of the forest. Even now, she is still in the forest with York. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that a lovely ending? Hey, Grandpa. Can I ask you something? What kind of person is York? York. He's a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. What did those flashback scenes actually add to any of this? I mean, it's nice that, uh, it's nice that, I guess, Zack had a life, you know, he got on with it and all that. Emily! But, oh. It's almost time for dinner! Take your grandfather's dinner up to him, will you? Yes, Mom! How's your grandfather doing? I don't know. He's calling me Emily again. Oh dear, he must be losing his memory. You are Louise, honey. Michelle Louise Morgan. Not Emily. You know that, right? I know my own name, Mom. I know you do, baby. You're just so lovely, Louise. I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess. Mom, where is the goddess? I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so, but I've never met one. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Oh, thank you, honey. If I am a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs> Mom, do you believe those stories that Grandpa tells? You believe them, Louise? They're all just made-up stories, dear. All fiction, like your picture books. So all my picture book stories aren't true? Oh, don't twist things around, Louise. You just want to know everything, don't you? Here, take this dinner to your grandfather. Go on while it's still hot. Mom, I understand what Grandpa's talking about. I've got Mr. Teddy, just like Grandpa's York. <laughs> Very nice, dear. Now off you go. Hold it straight or you'll spill the soup. I've got it. Man, those flashback scenes did not add anything. I just sat through that and that was rubbish. Boo. <laughs> I mean, the little kid was cute, Louise rather than Emily, but, you know, what? Why? Why are they, why is it even there? Just, you don't need a framing device for the entire thing, it's pointless. Oh, sweet, country ham! Oh, coffee, well, I was more interested in the, the uh, oh, hello. Oh, even her hair's waving. Hello! You don't go to the afterlife and you still have to work a job as a waitress? Man, that blows! Apparently everyone in the afterlife turned super creepy.
Ja. Oh. Seriously, Arna, they're all like, you know, Arna, sucks to be you, just, you know, fucking bring the beer. She's like, but I died first. Don't care, bring the beer. My PlayStation creaks at that noise. Sorry, jeez, it was a bad joke or something. And that's it, folks. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this Let's Play Deadly Premonition. And we finished it. I was not going to let stupid PC problems beat me. It has been an absolute blast, though. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. You know, well, except the crashing. The crashing and the... Ugh, having to redo all those sections. Ugh, that'll haunt me. It's been a long one to Let's Play, weirdly. Although, edited down, it's probably been okay. But, damn, I spent hours recording this. But I really didn't mind. It's just been so much fun to do. What a blast. Yeah, really. So yeah, that's it. An end of another Let's Play, and a very memorable one at that, and I'm really glad I took the leap of faith to do this one. Especially after hearing how dodgy the PC one is. Though funnily enough, a uh, quick story, because I heard how bad the PC port was, I was like, hmm. Well, I'll record a bit of it initially to see how we do. And it worked, I was like, okay, it works, it's fine, okay. But I said, I said to myself, what happens if I get like 10 hours in and the damn thing breaks? I was like, well... There is always a plan B. There is always a plan B. Except when there isn't. Like with Kiko Stikatana. Bummer. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, I'll hopefully see you on another Let's Play. I'll catch you all then. Bye-bye.